We are going to demonstrate the examination of a patient with a rib injury. Remember this is a midline injury, so you need to exclude any damage to underlying organs, such as the heart, lungs, liver, spleen and kidneys. Also be very clear that you have a good history of injury, as anything else needs to be treated as a chest pain. While taking your medical history, ensure you ask the patient specifically whether they're a smoker or not, whether they've experienced any hemoptysis, any shortness of breath, coughing up any dirty sputum, any hematuria or abdominal pain, and any pain on breathing. Before you begin to examine the patient, ensure you have a full set of vital signs, including an accurate respiratory rate and pulse oximetry. If the patient has injured the lower part of their ribs, you will need to get a urinalysis as well to look for any hematuria. In order to examine your patient, you need to expose the whole chest. Alex, would you mind taking the top off, please? Begin by inspecting the patient's chest, front and back, looking for any signs of bruising, wounds, any paradoxical movements that may indicate a flail segment, any misalignment of the trachea, or any other irregularities. Ensure you examine both the front of the chest and the back. Can you turn around please? You can use your hands to feel for equal lung expansion. Put your thumbs together. Alex, can you take a deep breath for me please? And out. And feel for equal expansion on both sides. And again, in and out. Can you turn around please? And the same on the front. In and out, and in, and out. Next move on to palpate the chest wall. First of all, check that the trachea is central, and then palpate down the sternum for any tenderness, and around the chest wall for any tenderness, any crepitus, any surgical emphysema. Continue this round for the whole of the chest wall, front and back. Can you turn around please, Alex? When looking at the back, also palpate down the spine, feeling for any tenderness. Any tenderness to the sternum or the spine will need further investigation and may require imaging. We need to rule out any damage to the lungs, such as pneumothorax or hemothorax. For this, use auscultation and percussion. First of all, using a stethoscope, listen to air entry throughout all fields of the lungs, comparing one side to the other. You're listening for air entry to be the same on both sides with no added sounds. Alex, can you take some regular breaths for me, please, as I'm listening to your chest? Next move on to percussion, listening for the hyperresonance that may indicate a pneumothorax or dullness that may indicate a hemothorax or any consolidation. Using your middle finger, place it between the ribs and using the other hand, tap on the distal phalanx, comparing one side to another across the lung fields. Again, remember to do both sides. Turn around, please. Turn back, 
Many patients with rib injuries expect to have a chest x-ray to exclude rib fractures. This is generally not indicated as fractures and soft tissue injuries take roughly the same amount of time to heal and require the same management. Finally we move on to an abdominal examination where you're looking to rule out injury to the liver, spleen or kidneys. Alex, would you please sit up on the trolley for me? Begin by lying the patient as flat as possible and asking them to relax. Right, so I'm just going to lie you a bit flatter, just relax your head. Okay. Gently palpate across the whole abdomen first, feeling for any tenderness. I'm just going to feel of your tummy, just let me know if it's sore anywhere I'm pressing. Then you're going to palpate directly towards the liver and the spleen, feeling for any enlargement of the organs or any tenderness. Let's take a breath in from the eyes, please, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. Tell me if it's painful when I'm pressing under here. And the same again, breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. Then you take Moving on to belot the kidneys, put one hand underneath the flank and one on the top, and move your hands as if you were passing the kidney between your hands. Is that painful at all? No. Repeat on the other side. If the patient experiences any tenderness or discomfort or you feel any enlargement to the organs while examining the abdomen, they need, be referred, they need to be referred on for further review and possible imaging. If the patient has no pain on the abdominal examination, they are unlikely to need any further imaging and may be safely discharged. Detailed discharge advice is particularly helpful with this injury as they take a while to heal and the patient often doesn't anticipate the risk of chest infection.